Welcome in everybody to another edition of Valpo Women's Basketball Weekly. I'm Brandon Vickery, glad to be joined by the head coach of Valpo, Mary Evans, as we take a look first at the start of conference play. And I think the one thing this season, coach, has been when you've had a disappointing performance, you've been able to respond in a positive way, and rarely have you had uh, two disappointing games in a row. It's been uh, situations where you've bounced back positively the next time out. How do you make sure you do that this week after Sunday's game? I mean, it's going to be tough. We play two of the best teams in the conference this weekend on the road, but um, we have to learn from yesterday. And we went into an environment um, against a team that be we beat three times last year, and I think we might be um, took it for granted that it is conference season and it is um, going to be a battle night in and night out. And I'm not sure that we gave our best performance um, for the full 40 minutes. I think we played about 10 minutes of good basketball yesterday. Um, so we're going to talk a lot about that and we'll learn and grow from this and we'll be better moving forward. The Missouri Valley Conference, as you mentioned, is a, team, a conference filled with good teams. Just what are your thoughts on the conference as a whole as you go into your first season in the Valley? I mean, I think it's an extremely difficult conference. It's been traditionally one of the best conferences in the country in the mid-major um, ranks, and I think it's moving back in that direction. I think there's a lot of um, new coaches um, like Kate at Loyola, um, Illinois State, um, that are in their second and third year, and they're making progress, and their programs are growing. Um, and then you have teams like Drake, who's one of the best teams in the country. I mean, they should be a top 25 team. They've played a great schedule. They've won a lot of good games. You've got UNI. You've got Bradley, who's off to a, was off to a 10 and one start, is now 10 and two after playing. You know the two toughest teams in the conference. So um, it's going to be a battle night in and night out, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, and it's just this team learning that and, and learning the effort that it takes on a night in and night out basis in order to not necessarily win, but just put yourself in a position to be able to win at the end of the game. I think one of the biggest challenges for a head coach in any sport is when you have adversity, like a game like yesterday, how do you balance staying upbeat enough and letting your team know you still believe in them, but also enforcing some of the things you did wrong and making sure you motivate your team to get better from that? How have you balanced that this season? I mean, I think it's a fine line. I think, you know, film is a great teacher, um, and sometimes kids won't, maybe don't believe you when you're telling them in the course of the game that the, the, the team that you're playing against is just playing harder. Um, and so today will be a great time to be able to show them um, examples of that and just show them specific things that just uh, Loyola exploited our defense. Like, we had bad rotations um, throughout the night, and so those are things that we can show them. We've seen it on film now. Um, and I tell the team all the time, you're only a loser if you don't learn. So we've We've got to look at this film, we've got to make these corrections, and we've got to not make the same mistakes moving forward uh, through the rest of conference play. One of the real positives uh, statistically has been the turnovers. You've kept mm -hmm. them down, turnover margin at plus 1.8 per game, and historically Valpo has really struggled with turning the ball over. Uh, only seven allowed, it was the fewest in several years in the game on Sunday. Yeah. How have you kept turnovers down? Um, I think we make a, a real point of just passing into someone with our jersey, you know, and, and it's really that simple. We don't need to make her heroic plays. We just need to make the correct play. Um, and so we've harped on that, um, and I think they're doing a good job with that. And, and now we need to continue that, but we need to make some corrections in our rebounding margin. Um, and I know we're small, but that doesn't keep us from having the ability to um, hit people and, and go get the basketball. So um, we'll continue to um, harp on the turnovers, but, but we're going to have to get better rebounding the basketball moving forward. You started to get healthier. Allison <coughs> Schofield came back on Sunday. You knew there would be a little rust in that first mm -hmm. game back. Maybe what did you see from her, and how do you integrate her back in here moving forward? I think it's just going to take time. I mean, Allison is a good player. She's smart, so the understanding of the game, it's not like that part has left her. It's just getting her back into a game rhythm, game speed. Um, you know, with our injury issues, we haven't necessarily been able to practice at the uh, game tempo that um, – we saw yesterday in the physicality. So that's just going to take a couple games of her getting back into it um, and getting her legs back under her. So I expect her to be um, fine by the weekend. Let's look ahead to this weekend. We touched on the teams a little bit. First, UNI, a team that went 1-1 one one this past weekend, picked second in the conference, went to the WNIT a year ago. What do you know about their team and their program? 
Um, they're tough. I mean, they, they're a very uh, well-coached team. Um, they're big. They're strong. Um, they attack the basket offensively. Um, defensively, they do a nice job of switching some stuff, not switching others, sagging to the basket, forcing tough sh shots. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us. They're a great rebounding team. I just was watching them earlier against Illinois State, and they're getting on the glass. So um, it's going to be nice because some of the things that we struggled with, with against Loyola, they are going to uh, try to do those same things against us. So we'll get to see whether we made the corrections on Friday night. And you have a Drake team that hasn't lost a conference game in over two years, and you talk about them as a top 25 caliber team. How do you handle the challenge of going there on Sunday? Um, it's going to be tough. I mean, our players obviously have played them the last couple of years. It's going to be my first experience against um, their matchup zone um, and against their players. But they're young. They've got everybody back. Um, and they're just a really good basketball team. So I think it's going to be a nice measuring stick to go there um, and understand the effort that we're going to have to put in um, to stay in the basketball game. And um, I think it'll be a good opportunity for us to come home and understand where we need to get to in order to compete for championships here in the Missouri Valley. It'll be a big weekend. Valpo continuing the road swing with two more games on the road at UNI and Drake. Hope you'll follow along for all the latest in Valpo women's basketball. Visit ValpoAthletics.com.